From the worldwide leader in sports, this is The Herd on ESPN Radio and ESPNRadio.com. Now, here's Colin Cowherd. But we might as well start with uh, your latest NFL wide receiving knucklehead, uh, Plaxico Burris. Little backstory: Plaxico goes to a nightclub, shoots himself. That's a show onto itself. Uh, hospital covers it up. Nightclub covers it up. Could be a teammate involved. The guy's pretty much done. He's done in the NFL. A mayor Bloomberg in New York who's popular and powerful is furious at the hospital, is furious at any unlicensed gun owner, and should be in this era of terrorists on the subways. Uh, there is just no excuse to ever have an unlicensed gun or a gun period on a subway. Um, one of the things that's pretty clear is athletes get special treatment. Uh, the nightclub painted over blood stains on the floor to protect Plaxico, and the hospital did not report the gunshot wound to police as required by law. So, uh, you know, high-profile people, especially athletes, get taken care of. Uh, Plaxico should face the same penalties anybody else in this country would if that gun is unlicensed. Um, here's what is interesting, though, just... just before we go into the psychology and sociology of it, um, I don't think Plaxico Burris is that important to the team. He was last year. He's not this year. The New York Giants are a run-first, tight-end second, wide-receiver third offense. The real story here is Plaxico's buddy Antonio Pierce could be involved, and he's a tremendous player on defense, the signal caller, and they don't have much depth at that position. Here's a little insight for you. One of ESPN's uh, people uh, lives next door in New Jersey to the New York Giants linebackers coach. He said the coaches are freaking out about Antonio Pierce. Forget Plaxico. That's a media story. Inside the Giants, they're scared to death that, and, that, that, that um, Antonio Pierce is involved. They're scared to death. But all you have to do with the Giants is go online. They don't even need Plax. Amani Toomer, Steve Smith, Dominic Hickson, Derek Ward, Kevin Boss, a huge running game. They don't need Plaxico Burris. But I'll tell you what, what is happening inside the Giants in this linebacker coach who lives in New Jersey uh, is the tip of the iceberg. The Giants coaches, they're not going to say this in the press. It's not politically correct. It would divide the locker room. But they just got rid of a big headache. They're very, very happy that metaphorically, Plexico Burris shot himself in the foot. They're not happy literally he did, but metaphorically, yes. Um, wouldn't you be glad if you got rid of a headache? If you were a 55-year-old coach who just won a Super Bowl, who is a disciplinarian, who has one guy on the team that's been fined 42 times that won't listen to him, and it's the only thing that concerns you about this year's playoffs, wouldn't you be happy? Wouldn't you be happy? Tom Coughlin is overjoyed. Listen, I had a boat two years ago. I couldn't sell it. 450 bucks a month down the toilet. That thing hung over my head for 15 months. It was my Plexico Burris. And when a guy in Seattle finally bought it, that's how Coughlin feels today. He just got rid of his boat, the SS Plexico. And he didn't even have to sell it. He didn't even have to take out an ad on eBay. The SS Plaxico sprung a leak and sank overnight, and now the insurance company takes it over. And my boat, like Plaxico, was attractive and sexy. I paid top dollar for it. People admired it. Everybody wished they had one, but to me it was just a really expensive headache. The day I sold that boat, my life got better. And Plaxico because of what he did, has made Tom Coughlin a significantly happier coach. Inside that locker room, they have gotten rid of the only potential torpedo on their run to a second consecutive Super Bowl win because they are easily the best team in the league. And when you are easily the best team in the league and you are easily the deepest team in the league, there is only two things, only two things that can disrupt it. Your quarterback gets hurt, or a controversy breaks out. That's it. 
That's the only thing standing in the Giants' way. And they just got rid of the ladder. They got rid of the potential torpedo into their Super Bowl plans. Don't kid yourself. You know what, you know what Tom Coughlin feels like today? He feels like the guy whose ex-wife remarries and he no longer has to pay alimony. You are popping corks. For every guy out there paying alimony, the day your ex-wife remarries and it stops, you're grabbing champagne. And that's what they're doing with Plexico. Don't kid yourself. He was a gigantic headache and a potential disaster. 